I'm going to take the over, guys. Uh, over 222 and a half. Hopefully gets us to 21 and 12. Ricky, you were up eight with about two and a half minutes to go in this game. No, I just watched the ending, so you don't need to remind me. I saw everything that happened. Everything. Once you was the everything. That every- yep, you're fired. What's going on, guys? Sunday, NBA. We got Western Conference Game 3 to go over in today's video. I'm going to get you another free play, so definitely subscribe to my channel and drop a like on today's video if you haven't already. If you haven't, just immediately open the video and crush the like button. Another one, guys, over 222 uh, and a half is what I gave out in the last video. Uh, It was uncertain the status of Tyrese Halliburton at the time, but we moved to 21 and 12. 21 and 12. That is over a 60% winning rate for just my free plays. I'm on here giving you guys a video every day, every game, spread in total. Uh, And we're going to transition to the MLB as soon as the NBA does come to a conclusion. Uh, So definitely, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, full transparency, and this is something I always take pride in. I come on here literally every day, and I show you the text that goes out to clients, what happened on SoBet. Um, By the way, I haven't updated this. Here's the updated numbers at the bottom of the screen after Saturday uh, concluded, guys. But that total was actually the opposite of what I did give out for one unit in premium. When when Tyrese Halliburton was ruled out of the game, uh, if you look at the metrics, the Pacers have a seven-point difference, uh, especially on home court defensively. So we went with the under, we, we actually divided it. We had a half unit. Well, you can see it on the, you can see it on the text or wherever I put, I usually put it over here. Uh, we put a half on the first quarter. We all saw the teams. They came out. It looked like the all-star game here. You shoot it. Now we'll shoot it. Okay. Now here you guys shoot it. Now we'll shoot a three. Now you guys shoot a three, no defense involved. In fact, if it wasn't for that crazy first half, that free play I gave you guys would have gone way, way, way Under the sharp money was on the under. That's what I gave out to clients. 223 is what I gave out specifically. Again, you can see it on the screen. Uh, So we missed there. We missed a unit, but the big play of the day was on the Pacers to cover the spread. Uh, Two and a half units, a nice hit with the Pacers, a no brainer, sweat free, never in doubt, cruise control, start to finish. So that was a nice hit. Also went 1-0 and in the MLB today with a no-run first inning in that Baltimore game. Uh, sometimes with MLB, man, you just try to get one or two one or two wins and get the fuck out of there because <laughs> it's crazy. Actually, let me double check. Let's see if the Rockies beat the Phillies today. I know a ton of people that were all over the Phillies. Um, wow. I mean, I mean, baseball is out of control. So with a a one-run lead, the Philadelphia Phillies get six runs in the ninth inning. Unbelievable. It's currently eight to four Phillies. So, hey, if you guys were on the Philadelphia Phillies today, you got really, really fortunate there. Um, But, hey, we're not going to talk about baseball. We're a couple weeks away from that. Let's continue here. SoBet, cash another one on SoBet. You guys see all the numbers at the bottom of the screen. I try to run through this fast as I can. It's hard to record videos and and, and just kind of do it you know, just right off the jump, right off the rip. I I don't have any, I don't, I don't read off anything. You know, I got some stats and stuff, but I just try to make sure that I let you guys know everything involved in terms of where my money's at, just so you know, everything that's going on with Dan's rants and all his paid for uh, services. So, uh, so bet if you're new to so bet or new to my channel and you don't know what so bet is, um, it's an awesome platform. There's like 50 of us professionals on there over on SoBet. I am one of the pros. I give out a single pick a day. So that 30 and 11, that 73 percentage winning uh, rate you see there, that's 41 days of betting, both baseball and NBA combined. i uh, cash another one today. So if you guys are not on my SoBet and you want access to my daily best bet on SoBet every single day, a no brainer. It's less than 10 bucks a month, 995. You get a pick from me every single day. So about 30 picks a month for 10 bucks and access to 50 other professionals. The link's right in the description. Make sure you're part of SoBet. Absolute no brainer. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Showed you guys premium, showed you SoBet. Uh, we recapped that. I got to update that uh, that record to 21 and 12. And uh, hopefully after today's video, hopefully we'll get to 22 and 12. I don't know what that winning percentage is. But I'm going to do my very, very best to get us there, guys. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Let's see if we can get today's video to 500 likes. We haven't quite gotten there uh, in quite some time. I think maybe some of the college basketball videos, but 
Um, if you guys want to give back for all the knowledge and everything and all the time and effort I spend to get you guys consistent videos every single day, um, just hit the like button. It's free. It takes a millisecond. You just click it and uh, it really helps what I'm doing here. And it will expose my channel to more people. And hopefully I can educate more people and get more people to bet the right way uh, with bankroll management, correct, responsible unit size, uh, and stop following these very gimmicky channels like Pick Dogs and Wager Talk that do have a couple of good pros in the mix. But overall, they're just big scams, big schemes. And uh, you just shouldn't be listening to those people on a daily basis. So let's get into today's game, guys. Let me bring up the money splits. What do we got here? I think I have a hunch of where we're going to go here. Now, if you're a person, if you're one of the people that firmly believe that the NBA is scripted or the NBA has an agenda or you know any of that stuff, and sometimes I do believe there's an outside influence that might help the results of a spread or a total, but I don't, I don't believe in like pre-written, like this game is just like a play. Like no one gets, it's not like, okay, Jason Tatum, um, you're going to start off today and you're going to go up and you're going to do an and one dunk. Like it's not that scripted. Sometimes when we say professional sports are scripted, it's kind of like a preset idea we have of how games are going to go. Um, so just keep that in mind. But in, in that same conversation, we have these Boston Celtics who just stole literally robbery uh, two of the first three games of that Eastern Conference series. I, I don't think there's any doubt that the Boston Celtics are going to sweep the Indiana Pacers at this point. So if you're into scripts and you're into conspiracies, do you think, I, I, I mean, I'm going to ask you guys right to your face. Do you really think that both series, Eastern and Westerns, conference finals, are going to be 4-0 sweeps, this, where am I pointing? This, this has to go, has to go six, seven games. It has to. Um, the spread has already dropped. I believe it opened at three and a half. It's down at two and a half. Let's see where the splits are. Um, wrong app. Here we go. I assume people are on Minnesota, and if they're not, then that tells the tale even more here. Uh, NBA, May 26. So there's still a couple threes out there, by the way. I have two and a half on the screen. That's what I saw on FanDuel as of tonight. That's what I'm using. Uh, but there are a couple of threes out there. If you really, really want the points with Minnesota, shop around, see if you can get a three. We are looking at 81% of wagers made against the spread on the Minnesota Timberwolves. We are looking at 79.0% of the money against the spread on the Timberwolves. So no sharp money involved, but a large, large, large amount of money on the Minnesota Timberwolves in this game. The money line splits are about the same. We're looking at 72.8% of bets made on the money line on the Minnesota Timberwolves, but a little bit more of the money in terms of the money line. We're looking at 79.3% of bets on the money line on the Minnesota Timberwolves. So the books are kind of reacting to the all the money uh, so far that has come in on the Timberwolves here. Be interesting to see where this line ultimately ends up. Um, I'm going to look at the total in today's video, guys. I'm going to have to uh, respect my paying clients over on Premium, the, the, the website link you guys can find in the description. I have a very, very strong opinion on this game, and it's a big enough play to where I'm just not comfortable giving that out as a free pick in today's video. So the whiteboard winning free pick today is going to be on the total. My opinions in today's video uh, are going to strictly be on the total of this game, which I feel great about. I think I'm going to get you guys another winner. Uh, but with respect to paying clients and how big of a play I do think that paying clients are going to get, uh, I have to reserve my opinion on that spread for people that pay for it. Of course, if you guys want access to that, my website link right in the description below. Again, coming off a winning day, one, two of the last three days, uh, due for a nice little hot streak. You can get a full week of my picks for only $29.99 a week. So uh, the link right in the description of this video. Highly recommend you hop on the website, grab yourself at least a weekly package, get access to today's picks. Um, total, guys, 207.5. I think we got to look at the under. 
I don't think we have a choice, man. I don't think we have a choice. We got to look at the under 207 and a half. I, I know the Mavericks offense looks good. I know it seems like Luca and Kyrie have really found their stroke. They've really found their stride here. Um, and they look unstoppable. And I do expect a more aggressive Anthony Edwards. And I had some strong criticism for him in the last uh, two videos ago. Um, so I expect, you know, a little give and take here. I expect a more traditional Kyrie Irving game where maybe the first half is on the slower side. Uh, and maybe he does come alive yet again in that fourth quarter. Um, Luca, I don't know, man. Luca is like, if he's having a good game and the Mavericks are in the game, he looks like he's healthy. But all of a sudden, like when he's not making the shots or like the Timberwolves going to run, like he starts to limp. I, I, I'm not off a game winning buzzer beater three pointer. Uh, they stole both games in Minnesota. Like I had mentioned, with possibly an NBA script involved here, um, we have some interesting things that, you know, might point to the Mavericks continuing, um, you know, the run that they've been on here. But I got to go under, man. I, I got to believe that. Uh, sorry, sorry, guys. This has been kind of a fucking choppy video. It, it, it's hard for me to just ramble and, and tell you exactly what I think about this game without giving away too, too much here. Um, under the total, under the fucking total, the, the, the Minnesota Timberwolves are the number one defense in the NBA. They have to show up here. They, they blew both home games. I don't trust their offense. Nas Reed is not going to shoot like that from three pointer again. Um, sure. We're going to get some more points from ant, but we're going to get way less from Nas Reed. I think we get less from Conley, less from McDaniels, less from Kyrie and less from Luca. Or maybe the same from Luca. I got to go under the total. I, I'd be surprised if either team gets to 100 points in this game. This is going to be an ugly game. This is going to be a war. This is going to be an ugly game. I expect it to at least be somewhat competitive. Um, Mavericks are actually, believe it or not, they're better on the road than they are at home here. Uh, so I expect the defenses to show up. The pressure of this game uh, you know, should ramp up the defensive efforts from the Wolves. Um, I'm going under the total. Under 207 and a half here. And by the way, in terms of money splits on the total, all the money's on the over. All the money's on the over and not sharp money. 70.6. So almost 71% of bets made on this on the total are on the over, but only 67% of the money. So more bets have been placed on the over than cash made up in terms of the total purse on that game total. I'm going to go under uh, 207 and a half. And guys, let's just go ahead and get it right on the whiteboard. That's what I'm rocking with. So yeah, guys, under, under the total. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Very, very different from what we just watched in game three, of the Eastern Conference Finals. I expect start to finish very good defensive effort. We've already been shown, proven, solidified how good the Dallas defense is. We know the Minnesota defense has more gas in the tank. I expect them to show all effort here under the total of 207 and a half. And if you want access to what I think is going to happen in this game in terms of the spread, just head over to the website. That link's in the description. If you want a cheaper alternative to get some access uh, to some of my premium plays, one of them every single day. That's so bet link also down there. Uh, and TikTok as well. Give out a lot of free plays on TikTok. So let me guys know. Let, let me know, guys, uh, what you guys think in the comments below. Who are you on in this game, and what do you like in the total? I know two hundred seven and a half does feel like a low number, especially after watching that Eastern Conference game where it seemed like both teams couldn't miss. So are you guys on the are you guys on the over or the under in this game? Definitely let me know. I know a lot of you guys have very sharp opinions too and and you guys are pretty good at what you do as well. So everyone's always interested to hear uh, what all you guys have to say. So load up that comment section with your opinions on this game and uh yeah, catch you guys in the next video.